to see me, Delenn? Yes. I've just received a message from the other members of the Grey Council. Now that we have a new leader in place, they wish to see me and discuss my... status. What is there to discuss? Whether I should be allowed to continue as a member of the Council or be removed. I will be leaving shortly. I do not know if I will return. It is possible they could remove me from Babylon 5 as well. Why would they do that? Look at me, Lanier. Being asked to serve on the Council is a matter of soul, not of flesh. The, the change that you've gone through, it shouldn't matter. But it does, Lanier. I made a decision, and now I must face the consequences. I have left detailed instructions in the event someone else is assigned here. And uh, I updated all my diaries. You will have everything you need in case... In case I never see you again. And here, for the first time, I feel very much alone. No. Never alone, Delenn. Never alone. The last two ships that came through Sector 92 both reported unusual sightings. Description? Not much to go on. A bright light, turbulence. We've also had reports of at least one transport disappearing off the screens in that area. It may be unrelated, but you never know. Uh, it can't be raiders. They're pretty much out of business these days. I agree, but something's going on. And since it's within our jurisdiction, I think we should check it out. Is Zeta Squadron available? Alpha and Zeta Squads are both out on other missions. Delta leader's down sick. I could assign it to a second. No, I've got a better idea. I'll go. I don't think you should do that, sir. This isn't a clear and present danger, Commander. It's just a quick look around to see what the problem is. I haven't felt space beneath me since I got here in January, and I miss it. Besides, if I don't put some flight time in soon, I'm going to lose my flight pay. Very well, but you'll take a full escort. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll be in and out in an hour. What could go wrong, hmm? The flyer is recharged and is ready for departure at any time. Good. Thank you. As is mine. Lanier, you do not have a flyer. Correct. I've arranged to borrow one from our courier. You do not have to go with me. That is also correct. Nonetheless, I will accompany you. Lanier, listen to me. The council holds me in disfavor right now. I do not want that to spill over onto you. I'm not worried about that. Of course not. You're young, and youth is both foolish and vulnerable. This is not a wise thing for you to do. Probably not. Have I mentioned recently how much I appreciate you, Lanier? Not really, but it will give us something to discuss on our trip. Steve. I've pulled together your escort, Captain. They'll meet you in Fighter Bay 9 in half an hour. Good. Anything else? Yes, sir. We received word from General Haig's office that he'll be arriving earlier than he had thought. ETA 1800 hours. And? That's all. Captain, if a member of the Joint Chiefs is coming aboard, I should have been informed. There's protocol to consider. This is a cordial and unofficial visit, Commander. Even so. Commander, this is a private matter. I was going to tell you all about it when he got here, but as you said, he's arriving ahead of schedule. And I should be back by then. Anything else? No, sir. Good. See you when I get back. <laughs> 